Hello and welcome to the Matilda Mossman Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the head women's basketball coach at the University of Tulsa, Matilda Mossman. And, and coach, normally, here we are mid-December, we'd be talking about your nine games in, you've played all of these games, you've played one. <laughs> and, you know, you've, you've navigated the, the COVID-19 as best as possible, and you've had your spits and starts, but lately it's been the other team. But the key is you've only played one game. Yeah, it, it, it's like I told our kids after practice on Tuesday. That's when we found out the uh, Wichita State game on Wednesday was going to be canceled. Um, we just had a good practice. Everything was positive. Kids were excited. And then you have to bring them together and announce the news that the game has been canceled. And, you know, obviously they're disappointed and because that's why they practice so they can play games. And, um, but the good thing right now is at least you can look forward to the next game. You know, if, if, if the positive occurs with our team, now we're shut down anywhere from seven to 14 days. If the positive occurs with the other team, we really don't skip a beat. We just cancel the game, keep practicing, get ready for the next game. So, you know, we're, we're trying to stay optimistic and stay positive and, and just try to keep the kids engaged as much as possible. And it's been a difficult navigation process. Of course, we've gone through it with football, but you're going through it in game time situations for the first time. How, how are you handling it and how did you handle it leading up to kind of fall camp? You know, it's it's just been so sporadic. You, you have a plan and you put out a calendar and you do your dates. You know, I want to have this in by this time, this in by this time. And then you have a pause and so you, then you miss like 10 practice days. And so it's like, okay, now we got to get more stuff in and get it in in a hurry. So then you tend to overload your guys because now we have to have this and this and this. And then so then you, you start again and then there's another pause and it's like, oh, we really didn't have to put all that stuff in so quickly. And But the, now we've had a chance really to um, go over the things that we put in quickly and, and really have a better feel for it and, and at the same time be able to put in some new things based on our personnel. And so, yes, lots of delays, and you can ask Coach Montgomery how to prepare for Houston and then not play them in Cincinnati three times and not play them, although we're hoping, of course, this weekend that will occur. Uh, but coaches just have to be flexible and players have to be flexible. And sometimes it's the head coach who has to be as calm as possible to relay that to the, to the players. Do you sense that? Absolutely. Uh, you know, when... If I appear crestfallen, then they're going to be that way. If if I make it, a, if I try to find a positive spin to it, uh, they're going to have a have a positive spin. So, um, I, I, the problem is we're asking 19, 20 year olds to be perfect in in their everyday living, and and it's hard. I mean, none of us can be perfect every day, and and especially not 19, 20 year olds. And so, but our guys have been really good about about social distancing, wearing their masks, staying in their apartments, trying to do the right thing. And sometimes you, there's a positive test and, and you know, you can't even trace it back to anything. So that's what's really, uh, that's what kind of really messes with you. It's like, you know, we've had a kid test positive that's like, I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything. Right. And, and I don't have any symptoms. And so it's, that part of it is, is really hard for them to, to, to fathom because, I don't have any symptoms, I don't feel sick, but yet the, 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 I got a positive test. So it's just, it's just about knowing that things are going to be abnormal and there's gonna be lots of twists and turns and you, you gotta go with it. You know, whatever happens to you, you deal with it and you move on and it's happening to everybody. Well, certainly frustrating, but not frustrating when you get on the floor and you play a basketball game, which Tulsa did on Sunday, defeating uh, Oklahoma State 69-62. Coach, what were you most pleased with? Just the way our kids competed. Uh, you know, we got off to a great start. Um, we were up eight at halftime, and eerily, that was the same score, or we were up eight last year at, at our place. And and so kids remembered that. You know, when I walked into the locker room, kids are remembering, oh, we were up eight last year too. Let's not let that same thing happen. So we had a great third quarter and ended up uh, going up 16. And then they had a little three minute flurry in there where they closed it to one. And then we were able to hit some free throws down the stretch. And uh, Yvette Mayberry hit back-to-back -back threes during that time that were, that were huge. 
Yeah, Wyvet and Maya Mayberry really were good for you in that game. Uh, you have really bolstered your guard play. You have some players that have played a lot of minutes uh, that are they're not playing as many minutes so far. Now, we've only played one right. game. But you have a lot of depth at that guard position now, don't you? We, we do feel like we have a lot of depth. And, um, you know, I think different guys are going to step up in different games. And, you know, your playing time might just depend on situations. It might depend on matchups. It might depend on, you know, maybe you came out of a game and somebody else went in and now you can't take that guy out. So maybe you don't get to go back in. So it... I, it's it's we do have depth and and we're excited about that because uh and, and we're shooting the ball better you know we shot 50 percent from three uh in that game sunday so we feel really good about that and that's the thing we've talked for years about how you run good offense you'll get a wide open 10 footer or a layup or whatever and just not hit them how gratifying is it for you to run good offense and then make shots well you know we we kind of felt like that was going to be the case because we shoot it well in practice. Uh, you know, there have been times in the past where we didn't shoot it well in practice and we didn't shoot it well in games. And so you're scratching your head trying to find solutions to continue to get guys in a good position to take shots. But uh, now uh, the ball's going through the basket more often. And I think that's contagious and, and, and people play with a little more freedom and, and, and they're not as uh, tense about putting up shots. Uh, one of your bigs, Lewis, early in the game got in foul trouble and then Aileen Rafkelstelter comes in and she gives you 37 minutes of really quality basketball, didn't she? Well, that, that's what we were talking about in terms of maybe somebody comes in and does so well, you, you can't take them out. And Jessica Evans started against uh, Natasha Mack and then Jessica picked up two quick fouls and, um, you know, we put Aileen in and all of a sudden, She's playing great defense. Uh, she's she's helping us with uh, making baskets, uh, but primarily it was her defensive uh, uh, intensity and, and the way she was guarding their post kid and trying to keep the ball out of her hands. That yeah, she never came out of the game again. And she scored 10 points, did that good job defensively, uh, doing the best she could to bang against some of the OSU bigs, and so she was a big part of it. And. Uh, uh, you know, you had some other good performances because to win on the road against a Big 12 team, it's not only the ones we mentioned, but, but others as well. Yeah, and one of our seniors, Rebecca Lasky, I thought she showed great leadership in the game. Uh, you know, you're going to get a consistent effort from Rebecca every single game. And, you know, she was, she's in double figures and she leads us in steals. And she got deflections that maybe somebody else got the steal. And there were a few possessions in there where Rebecca and KK Rodriguez were like a like a they were like a team out there there's the two of them one of them would get a deflection the other one would get the steal uh and uh they were diving on the floor after loose balls and so we really felt like all the 50 50 balls we got we got the 50 50 opportunities yeah and why that uh had 16 points in 11 minutes and uh, she, the reason is she she was injured she had rolled her ankle and take us through the story now. They, they go on a 15-0 to zero <laughs> run. You're only up by one. Uh, it's almost like you you need some help. You need maybe a little more guard play, whatever, or somebody to make a shot. And tell us that story about how she just kept insisting that she wanted to come <laughs> back in the game. Well, it was late in the first quarter, and Yvette rolled her ankle, and it's the same ankle she had rolled earlier in the week in practice. And when, so she comes out of the game, and, and you never know, can a kid go back in, can they not? And so we're getting word from our trainer that, nope, she's done. Um, and so, you know, the benches are all spread out, and Yvette was, you know, about three rows behind me just sitting there. And, of course, her sister Talia is on our staff. And, and Talia, you know, during that time when, you know, we're, we're up 16, so, okay, Yvette, you just nurse your ankle and it's okay. But then they made that comeback, and, and Maya had, had led us early on, but you know, Maya was getting fatigued and, and without Wavette, we needed Maya on the floor and, and uh, Talia kept looking at me going, she's fine, put her in. And so I'm looking back at Wavette and Wavette's just kind of looking at me like, come on. And uh, so it, during that flurry, I physically go to our trainer and say, look, can she go in or not? And the response was, well, if she's comfortable, that's all I need to hear. Why vet go in? <laughs> and then she goes, you know, she proceeds to hit back-to-back -back threes and goes four for four at the free throw line at the end of the game. And then for her efforts, uh, is named uh, Freshman of the Week in the conference. Yeah, stemmed the tide, no question about it, because all the momentum was on Oklahoma State's side. So how big a win is that? Go on the road, win a game in Stillwater? 
Well, you know, after, after a win, you know, you pick up your phone and, you know, you have messages and all this. And, uh, and then on the bus ride home, continuing to get messages. And, and I told somebody, I said, this must be how Gino feels after he beats somebody. <laughs> because uh, there was a lot of excitement, uh, not just within our program, in our community, but across the state. And we're hearing from recruits out of state. And everybody was really excited uh, for us and for our team. So I, I think that, uh, you know, maybe gave us a leg up uh, a little bit uh, because of the victory there, especially on the road. So the Golden Hurricane 1-0 on the season, wanted to start the league season on Wednesday night. Unfortunately, the game against Wichita State was postponed, but Tulsa getting ready for a contest this weekend to actually start American Athletic Conference play against UCF. We'll talk about that in a moment. We, we join you, by the way, and, and again, this is part of COVID as well. Normally, we'd, we'd like to have the backdrop in the locker room and that sort of thing. We call it Cafe Mossman, and well, because of COVID, we're not in the locker room, but we're right here, beautiful Reynolds Center. Um, I know you were scared a little bit with the cutouts back there, but they're not, <laughs> those dogs are not going to jump out of the cutout and attack you. <laughs> well, th thank you. I feel much better now. But the guy that scares you is Dave over there. Now, you folks will probably see that as you watch games. Uh, Dave Bales, and, and, and we'll just say this, uh, uh, rest in peace, Dave. Dave, one of the great all-time TU fans. Um, you may remember him as bench coach, uh, passed away recently, but we've got a full-size cutout in the, in the bench, in the uh, baseline coach area, if you will, if you get a chance to see it on uh, on the ESPN, ESPN Plus, or one of the platforms. So any, at any rate, uh, we get ready for play this weekend for the Golden Hurricane. We'll talk about it when we continue on the Matilda Mossman Show in a moment. the American. We're back on the Matilda Mossman Show as the Golden Hurricane getting ready for American Athletic Conference play as on Saturday hosting UCF at one o'clock and of course there's a great football game coming up later that day so this this will be great for Hurricane fans. You watch the game at one o'clock and then you have the uh, football game in the American Athletic Conference Championship of the Golden Hurricane taking on uh, Cincinnati. So uh, a, a good Saturday of Hurricane action and coach as you get ready for UCF uh, Coach Abe does a great job with that program. They're they're physical. They're tough. They've they've really improved their program. So you'll have a test on Saturday. We will. Uh, they're three and one right now. Only loss was to Florida Gulf Coast, and uh, they present a unique problem because they play a three-two zone and they play it for 40 minutes, and they'll pick up in a one-two-two two press, and um, so you you just don't see that three-two zone a lot. But fortunately, we have you know two days to get ready for that and and give our kids some experience, uh, you know, working against that 3-2. Yeah, and they're a team also that, uh, that, that as we mentioned, is physical and, and, and does play with a little bit of tempo. Um, having played only one game, are you getting there as far as game shape is concerned? It, it's, it, I think so. I mean, I was pleased with what we did at Oklahoma State, uh, not knowing, you know, what our game shape was. And uh, we've been able to have a good week of practice this week. And, uh, you know, with two practices before uh, the game, um, I, you know, I feel good about our conditioning right now. All right, let's go do it, Coach. Uh, thank you. And we'll, we'll, we will talk to you a little bit later on. Uh, in the month as we continue to update you on TU Women's Basketball. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. Matilda Mossman joining us here on the Matilda Mossman Show. Sit.